Query Academy tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about chaining and uh, basically what that is is after you select the elements of jQuery that you want to work with it allows you to do something with them and I'm going to show you how to do a few things with the elements you select in jQuery Day. So basically we're going to start off by making a quick HTML scaffold. I do this pretty quick in uh, TextMate but just do the same thing in whatever ID you're using. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to call this one chain. And uh, then what we're going to do is basically, same as the last tutorial, we're going to bring in the jQuery library. You can type in the script tag or you can drag it in, however you're going to get it in there. Just make sure the jQuery library is, is included. And then we're going to make a new script tag, which is going to contain our code. So basically, uh, you might not know this already, but in, whenever you want to start a jQuery script, you're going to want to start off with the document.ready. And this means that the code that you type in it is going to be initialized when the document is ready. So basically this code is executed when the document is ready. Alright, so we're going to get started. Now that you have a basic knowledge of selectors, we know, uh, we know how to select elements. So we don't really have any elements to select yet, so I'm going to make one really quick and I'm going to give it the name um, mover because we're going to move it and uh, we don't want just a regular divider because it's boring so we're going to add a style tag and we're going we're gonna to make it nice and styled so we're going to select it uh, number mover that means we're going to select the element with the ID mover and we're going to give it this CSS these CSS attributes to make it actually look like something rather than just an invisible div so we're going to give it the width 200 pixels we're going to give it the height 200 pixels. We're going to give it the background color red and we're going to give it position absolute. So uh, this assumes you have a basic knowledge of CSS also because CSS and jQuery work basically side by side and uh, it's really important to know CSS before you get into jQuery. So now that we have this mover object, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up our our file in my browser. And, uh, I'm using Safari right now, you can use whichever one you want. And uh, I'm going to bring it into my browser. There. And so there's our divider square, 200 by 200 with a red background. And uh, now that we have that divider, we're going to actually do something with it. So you remember from the last tutorial when we selected things, we're going to select this divider. No, knowing its ID is mover, we're going to go number, and then we're going to type mover. ID is mover. And now, now that we have it selected, we're going to do something with it. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a built in function in jQuery called animate. Basically, what animate does is it allows you to animate CSS properties of an element. So, basically, animate can take multiple uh, arguments, but we're just going to start off with a basic one. So, the first one is a list. So, you're going to need the curly brackets like that. And then in here goes our properties, right? So we're going to animate it's the mover's left attribute. So it's distance from the left side of the of the document. So it's basically going to be the space in between here to the edge of the document, of the window. And we're going to animate it to this value, to 200 pixels, or just 200. So now, now that we have that, we're going to try it out in our browser. We're going to refresh the page and see what happens. Notice the, the square moves. I'm going to refresh it again just so you can see. The square moves like that. Now basically what this does is, in an overview, it selects the, the element with the ID mover and it uses this method on that object, on that element. Um, it animates its left property 200 pixels. So it moves this object 200 pixels to the right. So th there's a lot of arguments or other values that you can configure in this function, such as the duration. So the duration is the next one. So say we want that animation to take two seconds, which is 2,000 milliseconds. We're going to do that, then we're going to save it. And we're going to go and refresh the page. Now the animation takes two seconds to complete. Uh, the, next, the next argument is the callback function. Basically what a callback function is in jQuery is it's a, a function that executes when, when this method is complete. So we're going to type in function, open back, close bracket, curly brackets. We're going to hit enter and then this code 
execute. It's complete. So basically, to let us know that the animation is complete, we're going to do a quick pop-up box on alert. And it's going to say, it's complete. We're going to save that, and then we're going to go and refresh the page, see what happens. Notice that it pops up saying animation is complete when the box stops moving. So basically that demonstrates use of the animate method um, changing CSS properties in 2000 milliseconds. Then when it's done, it executes the callback function, which runs an alert box, which tells you the animation is complete. So basically there's a lot of methods built into jQuery, which you can put right after the dot. And uh, you can find all these at a little URL called api.jQuery. Dot com. It's basically the, the documentation for the jQuery library and it's really really useful when you're learning when you're learning the jQuery language. So basically in here uh, you'll see all these methods. These are tons of different methods that jQuery has and uh, we're going to start off with ones in the effects section just because they're really easy to use and easy to understand. So we started with the animate function and I'm just going to click on that to show you what the documentation looks like and how to understand the documentation. So basically, you'll get in the documentation and you'll choose the method that you want to work with. And uh, you'll look at it here. It'll say dot animate, which you had. And then it'll be properties. So properties is the properties of the, the element that you want to animate. Next is duration, easing you don't need to worry about, and then complete, which is a callback function. Now, all of the arguments that have the square brackets around them mean that they're optional and you don't need to include them. That's why the first time when we ran it with just the properties, it worked. And, uh, but you can include them if you want, and it's good to keep them in order, like, like shown here. So uh, the next one we're going to do, I'm going to search up here, it's called slide down. Or slide up, rather. So we're going to select it, we're going to look at it. Basically what slide up does is it hides the match, matched elements with a sliding motion. Um, so we're going to try this in here, we're going to go slide up. And make sure to watch out for the capital letters, especially the U right there. Because in the documentation it's spelt with a U, so that's really important. So now we're gonna do we're gonna run that slide up. We're gonna go to our our chaining file and we're gonna run that. So notice what happens when you run the file is that it slides up. So uh, those are two simple uses of methods in jQuery. Those are just basic ones. Now uh, I recommend that you go back to the API documentation and you try out some of the ones that are in the effects section like uh, fade in, fade out, fade to, and make sure to read the required parameters before you use them. And just play around a little bit and get to understand how methods works. So uh, next up is, is the concept of chaining, which is basically where you have one method and then after that method you have another method. And basically what happens is, in this case, it says, select the, mo the object with the ID mover, perform this method, and then perform this method too. So basically, we'll use this with methods that would actually work. For example, we'll use the animate, and we're going to do left, and we're going to do 200, and then we're going to do dot slide up, and we're going to just leave that like that. So basically what this says is take mover and animate it left 200 and then slide up. So we're going to see if this works. We're going to go back to our browser and we're going to refresh the page. We're going to see what happens. Notice how it slides over then it slides up. So there you go. That's how you. That's how chaining works in jQuery. Um, so yeah, just try that out and get comfortable with it. And then uh, see us at our next tutorial. Thanks for watching.